Welcome to this week's midweek devotional. Um, Christmas is over, so it's one of those things like, what do we do now? We look forward to the new year, and so we hope you had a great Christmas holiday. Here's a few announcements before we get into our devotional today. Um, Reminding that tonight we don't have a wana or youth. We're going to enjoy the Christmas break. Um, Sunday, uh, New Year's Day, is back to our normal schedule. We'll do Sunday school, and then we'll have worship at 1030, and it's a going to be fun in the kids ministry it's uh, pajamas and pop tarts so make sure parents you dress your kids in pajamas on sunday and then we're really excited january 8th we're going to start our 21 days of prayer and so you'll hear more information about that on sunday and in the coming weeks but we are so excited to see what god's going to do in the life of the church uh, when we focus in as one body as one community and lift up our prayers together and so speaking of the new year there's always this excitement that can happen with the new year, right? What's it going to look like? Hopefully no pandemic, hopefully no new scary things, but hopefully also some new opportunities. That's what we can chase in the new year is new opportunities, these new things, challenges, and exciting opportunities that God could have for us. And so one thing I was thinking is I've been thinking through Colossians chapter 3 a lot. I've talked about it in different groups. It's been on my mind because in verse 12, it says this, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you have, has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. And so this idea that so many times Paul wrote this after he talked about all of these sins, all of these dangers that we have to be careful of. Big things, little things, all these blind spots that we can have as Christians. All this sin that can separate and get in the way between us and our relationship with God. But then he says, instead of always focusing on those, clothe yourselves with compassion and humility and kindness and gentleness and patience. And so that's what my prayer for us as a church is. As we enter into these 21 days of prayer, as we enter into this season of, of lifting up and, and chasing God's unity for our church and for our community and those that we love, that in our own relationship with Him, we pray that God will clothe us with these things. Instead of just focusing on what not to do this year, how to not get in trouble, how to not lose our job, how to not do certain things, What does it look like to chase after things? Chase after compassion. Chase after caring. Chase after kindness. Right? Pray those things over us. As we enter in relationship with God, we ask that God shows us chances to give compassion, chances to be humble, chances to show kindness. So we are known for what we are for and not for what we are against. Yeah, we all have sin and past and baggage that God delivered us from, but we're not defined by those any longer. We're defined by what God clothes us with, what God puts over us. So let us be known for those things. 2023 can be an exciting year for us, individually, as families, and as our church. And so as one community, as one body, as we enter in to these 21 days of prayer, let's chase after these things. Chase after kindness, goodness, uh, humility, gentleness, and patience. God's got great things for us. The best is yet to come. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for our great uh, Christmas season. I pray that we had a chance to connect with loved ones and um, encourage one another and have that moment of rest and relaxation, God. But as we enter into 2023, God, I pray for so much, so much opportunity. We know that in a year there'll be high moments, low moments, frustrating moments but what we ask you to clothe us with, the gentleness and humility and kindness, that can be consistent regardless of what obstacles are thrown at us this year. So be with us, we pray, anointing over our people, anointing over those that we interact with every single day, God. In your name we pray, amen. Happy New Year, and we'll see you next week.